Hello everybody, it's me, the Canadian Mika! This is my first live here on this page with special permission from the admin, Jay. Jay is giving me permission to do a live video stream with my toys and action figures and some weird stuff. Ha ha ha! And if you don't know why I'm called the Canadian Mickey Mouse, I have quite a few Facebook page groups. Well, I don't know. What do you think? Ha ha! Anyhow, I'm going to show up some really cool toys. I collect Disney toys and action figures. In fact, I just got these yesterday. I was going to show them off of onto some of my other Facebook page groups, but they're too busy with auctions. These are weird finger puppet things from the 90s. They're electronical. You press down the buttons, they would speak or talk, but uh, since they're 25, 28 years old now, no, they won't work. I got them. They're from Lion King. I've got a decent Lion King collection, mostly action figures and those little PVC figures. I've got a lot of Disney collectibles. Disney action figures, and, uh, and a whole heap of Disney records. I have at least 310 Disney and Disneyland records. You know, those big old music discs, like, um, you know, turn the page little record. And it does have its little 45 single record. Sad to say, this whale did not have a happily ever after. When I got this, I spotted it straight away. Can you see that? Jay, if you're here, can you see that? What do you think? Why? That this whale didn't have a happy ever after. Ha ha! Right there. Let's see on the other side. See that? That's a whaling boat. You know what happens to whales with a whaling boat? Well, let's just say, at the end of it, he's in heaven and he's singing there. This is my first lot that I purchased for part value because, you know, I'm trying to do some 3D customs. So I thought buy some broken stuff, and unfortunately my 3D scanner was faulty, so can't use it, and I'm really pissed off because uh, the company isn't going to be making any more of those ones, so I'm sort of screwed, and I can't find a replacement 3D scanner for the price I want it for. I can do some 3D scanning, some Motu stuff. That's right. I want to do a lot of Motu scanning and doing some old Motu customs with my 3D software because I'm not that great at 3D sculpting. But I do have some okay skills, though. This is some sort of multi-headed Motu. Now, I'm not a Motu collector. I do have some, but I'm not a Motu collector or expert. I'm the last person who want to talk about Motu. I don't care. i get some Photoshop custom templates ready to go, if and when I get a replacement 3D scanner. Beastman! Beastman! Another Beastman! A chair for Motu. Part of the castle. Turtle! I got a turtle! Cool! Looks like I do. Now if I get a 3D scanner, I could actually skin his arms and his legs and put it onto a motu. And even increase the size of the, um, the shell, the body. Awesome. Poor Tila! Tila! Ha ha ha! She's lost her legs! I found a Mickey Mouse puppet! Gee golly gosh! Little finger puppet! Another Team T figure. Whoa! Look at that smile! Those pearly whites! Gee, golly gosh, he's got a fine set of teeth for a turtle. Even though turtles don't have teeth, but that's not the point, I guess. Ha ha! I also have this from Mark Randolph. I knew I had it somewhere. From Mark Randolph. And more finger puppets. Little Pluto head. That's probably real vintage. I think this is probably the 70s or 80s. I'm not too sure. I found out recently. I can't remember. Pluto figure. I think it's my fifth one. Another Pluto head puppet. And gosh, it's a goofy. It's a cowboy goofy. Oh, yuck. Golly. Pretty cool and dandy. I got this big, huge thing too in my collection. I've got a whole heap of them. Because they, they look cool, so I bought them. And they were very cheap, actually. So, you know, I bought them. Therefore, you know, older action figures that came out probably over a decade ago, maybe more. But I, I like them. They're double-sided made, too. So it's not just the front, it's the back side. Pretty cool. Tigger! Big one. This is actually my biggest Winnie the Pooh action figure I've got. Otherwise, they're like, that big. Nathan Lawson! You're here on this page, too! My buddy! How's your My Little Pony action figure collection? You know, because you have My Little Pony. 
your weird fella. I also collect non-Disney stuff and Disney stuff and McDonald toys and Hotel Transylvania stuff and yeah. Isn't that neat? Up and down like that? <laughs> Another Mickey! Gee golly gosh! Another little Mickey Mouse! Golly! Ha ha ha! Oh, more Dalmatians. Awesome. I have a decent collection of uh, Dalmatian PVC figures. A little Mickey Mouse! Another mouse! I think this is my fourth or fifth variant of this one I have now. If it's dirt cheap when it comes to Disney, I will buy it. If you didn't know anything about me and Nathan, we're actually buddies. But what I did a few months ago was I met this guy at the Ben Lee boat sales in Ben Lee, a showgrounds there. And uh, his name was Michael Telfar, right? He had a big box of My Little Pony figures this size, you know? And um, I asked him, how much did you want? It's like, 50 cents. 50 cents each. So I bought them. I'm like, ooh-wee, I'll buy it. Here, here's 20 bucks. Take my money. Ha ha ha. I'll donate to the Nathan Lawson Fund. Ha ha ha. So I got this big box of, well, not big, you know, decently sized, medium sized box of My Little Pony figures. And I found two god awful toy action figures called Zelf. It's like this horrible, horrible looking elf looking troll thing. It's, it was really really weird and, and it was just weird so i bought it because they were cheap right from michael telfar so um you know, i bought them right and i made a video of it me posting it off to the post box and sending it to not nathan because nathan lawson would have burned the box and melted them so i sent it to his wife ah <laughs> uh, it was good i'm like that sometimes i'm normal what's in here oh more disney stuff I have these. Oh, I'll have to put this one on display. Tinkerbell. I like my Disney collectibles. I have so much. I have, let's see, eight, nine. I've got 12 storage boxes, about almost the same length as my iMac, which is 21 inch. And it's actually, it's the same size as my iMac. And um, I've got nine boxes that size, like this deep of toys. Not just Disney. Most of it. Not all, but most of it is Disney related. Uh, Action figures, toys, Beauty and the Beast, 38, 38 movie Disney Aladdin action figure stuff too. Uh, Mummies Alive, Universal Monsters, you know that sort of thing. Oh, this should be my Disney's Frollo and the Hunchback of Notre Dame. The villain, good morning, Quasimodo. Tony J not only did his voice for Frollo, but also the singing voice. He actually sang a Gypsy Burning song. He actually was a good talented actor. And it was also the voice of that Canadian TV series reboot. He played the voice of Megabyte, that big, huge blue virus dude. I know Michael and I told him, you can't sing him My Little Pony again. He sure will, because money is money, and everybody wants that. Ha ha ha! So he will. I know he will. Ha ha ha! Especially if he gets any more of those zelts, and then donate them to you. But I'll keep the most ugliest looking ones for you. And then sell the rest. I don't know. Who knows? Whatever. Mummy's Alive. I do have quite a few of Mummy's Alive. And I had hoped with my 3D scanner that, you know, I could 3D scan stuff, including this, and make their own custom armor. Because I'm quite clever in some of my 3D software. But scanner's faulting, and it ended up only 3D scanning the top half of any action figure after it multiplied. I think my Donald Duff was multiplied 12 times before my unit crashed. That means I had 12 heads on my Donald Duck action figure. The light on it was the issue. It's either too bright, and it really was quite a bright light on it, or it's too damn dark, and you can't choose either light or dark because the light is so bright. Oh well. I gave him back my money back after four days and four nights of trying to use it, and it couldn't work. Little piglet. Big jumbo piglet. It's like my uh, ticker. Owl. Baby Roo. I like Disney in general. When it comes to, let's say, pre-2003 or pre-2005. Prince Eric, Ariel. I've got a few of these now. Ursula. She's a heavy figure. Awesome Little Mermaid. I think this is for my Big Bad Beetle board. And I do have one. I'd like more, but, you know, they're quite rare against her. And quite expensive for you to find. Oh, Peter! Hello, Peter! It's me, the canine, Mickey Mouse! Ha ha! Hey? Hey? I picked up Japanese Mickey and Minnie toys. 
of a Japanese selling at a car boot after seeing you this morning. After seeing Cool. Very nice. I have quite a few Mickey Mouses in total. A lot. Quite a few. Including these. This is a Mickey Mouse pair of sunglasses, they are. So, you know, if I can't find stuff, it's because I can't see. Because I'm wearing sunglasses indoors. And I also have to wear real glasses to see because I wear glasses. Pee Wee Hoyman. I only have this one. Oh, I can show off some carded stuff. Punchback of Notre Dame. Barely on card. It's split. You know. It's faded terribly. It's actually faded to pink, the entire card. It's supposed to be a nice red, but you know, it's pink now. The back side's poured. And by the way, people on this page, I do decarding. See, I use these scissors to cut toys off of their plastic prisons. I decard them. But when I do them, you won't know the last few minutes on how dodgy the card backing is. I usually only decard them only if it's like this dodging, as you can see, it's actually peeled off quite nicely. And, you know, there's a tear up there. And it's really bent and faded a lot, so it's embarrassing to look at. But, you know, it's still there. But I would, you know, decard it. I won't tell you how badly uh, mangled the card is, because I'm like that. I do that on other Facebook page groups, too. Mostly American, because I get most of my stuff from the States, because it's a lot cheaper for me to buy, you know, my weird stuff from and to buy it here in Australia. Even though I do pay a ridiculous amount of postage fees, but by the time that I pay postage fees, I'm not paying much for each action figure. Anyhow. Disney Hunchback, Frollo on card. He's sort of not I don't know, he's sort of slightly bending over the last three years, four years since I got I do I stand him up like that. I do, but now this is thirty years old. How old? Almost thirty, you know? 27 years old, something like that. It sort of really showed him off his age. And then for unknown reasons, I found one of these characters, Mint. I bought it Mint. It was one of my first Quasimodo action figures. Because I have quite a few of them now. But um, I put them in storage. Mint, it was just one co one figure in this big box. Captain Phoebus on card. It's also sort of fucked up bent right there. But you know, I think I only paid 10 bucks. Yep, that's the one I paid 10 bucks in card for. If it's on card, usually I don't want to spend more than 10 bucks. So if you got some of this stuff, you know, $10 is where I usually buy it from. I do mean really rare because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I have either seven or eight of these Hunchback of Notre Dame characters on card. And like, just under two sets that are uncarded. Toonsylvania! This is Phil from Toonsylvania. He's a wind-up, this is. That design on these windums from Transylvania, they put Phil's windum action right underneath that arm, so it's sort of difficult to wind it. But he does work for also being something that's nearly 30 years old. Looks pretty good. And look at that! He's got pink little bunny slippers! How funny is that? I've got a whole heap of these loops. A whole heap of them, not just windums, but the weird action figures from them. I like them. They're cool. But this one's Disney. This is Tummy Gummy. This is Tummy Gummy from Disney's cartoon series, Gummy Bears. Now, I really only wanted one. It took me almost two years to find one. I finally got one here in Australia. It cost me $25 with post from Australia. To me. Uh, on one of my American page groups, there was a seller who had one who was willing to give it to me for $10. Unfortunately, it was just the one-off item. And um, it was like $7 postage, so I couldn't really... I didn't want to afford eighty dollars for this, so I, I thank them though. But expensive stuff if you're buying just singular items. Me, I usually end up buying three foot, four foot boxes from the states. Cheaper that way. I get for less over there. I have Ghostbusters. Uh, I do have Ghostbusters, but I don't really want to show them off. It's sort of hard to get to, and I don't think I can restate them. But I'll show off some gems in TMNT. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Cowabunga! Ha ha ha! Totally tubular! How radical are these turtles? They're from the 90s Universal Monster Range, they are! How cool! This guy, Raphael, the mummy, he glows in the dark. He completely glows where all those bandages are. It's really cool. I paid $10 dues at one of my auctions. Ha ha ha! And this is K 
Count Dumula. He comes to suck your pizza. Ah, ah, ah. He also sort of glows, which is really weird. Everywhere where it's white, he glows. So it looks like if his eyeballs are just floating around in the dark. Woo-wee! Fair Deacon! Eh? Ha ha ha! But them both were 10 from a USA auction. What else do I have? I can show off Oh, by the way, behind me, I have a lot of Disney stuff as well. A lot. Captain Fever's still... Two box still boxed. Milan play sets. Two. The 90s Disney movie. Uh, the 90s Disney dinosaurs. You know those weird live action TV series? With really those thick rubber costumes of dinosaurs? I got a whole bunch of them. I'm only missing one figure. And I'll have at least one loose set. I've got a Mickey Mouse mug. I've got a set of Disney Pocahontas action figures loose. I actually have, let's see, the three or four. Full complete sets of Disney's loose Disney Pocahontas action figures. Wow. And a whole bunch of random Disney shit up there. Including a, a Tarzan. A Tarzan movie, Disney cartoon movie, Money Bank. But I played it once when I bought it for 25 bucks. The gears in it are so loud and so terrifying. It looks like the whole thing is going to shake apart and just turn to dust. You know, it's also almost 30 years old. Who framed Rob Rabbit PCs? Well, my Disney Mania as well. Cool stuff. I've got quite a few of the Roger Rabbit PVC figures now. Some paint way there. Didn't know that. But you know, I've got like five of them now. Phil again. It's whacked out series. And I've got a lot of other variants. Let's take a look at one of them. Now. This is a weird toy. It's in sort of an action figure, but it's got some cool features. Reason why he's missing an arm, not that it's broken. His feature or action is right there. It's a little button, you press it, it'll shoot out the arm, and it just goes flying about 20 feet away. And I can't find it. I, I think I did find it. I've got like a weapon rack for his arms behind me. I think it's still there, which is good. But he also has another feature. The reason why he's got a clear belly is you pop open his plug. You know, he gets plugged. So you actually get this weird powdery substance, you pour it in there, it's baking powder or soda. It's actually color dyed. And you put in vinegar into that little hole. And you quickly put that stopper in. And then from the back, it actually has holes in that little spine area on both sides. So you'll actually shoot all that shit out. But you can actually see it shooting out from there as well. well you can see what's going on in there. But I won't do it because you won't be able to clean them out. So then he'll just probably just get all icky. Because you can't clean it out. What can you stick in there to clean all that stuff out? Nothing. Ghostbuster action figure. Very nice. Frankenstein. Little Frankie. I like it. His action or spring that custom to. Let's see if I can get it down. As you can see, it sort of doesn't stay up that often. And sort of when you press his legs in to actually get that action in, most of the time, or it feels like he doesn't want to go up. Now, so I sort of like to keep it like that, or try to balance it so he looks like that. I like, you know, for some monsters. The Mount Soon, some Glow in the Dark, Chicky Nuggies from the 80s, some Glow in the Dark Halloween ones. I already have a full set of these. This is my second or third set. Davy Jones. You owe him a soul. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, except for Strange Times. I won't watch that movie ever again. It was just crap from start to finish. But the other ones, yeah, love it. I even have the rare, rare dice game, Liar's Dice, made by Disney. That was suddenly seen and played with in Pirates 2. My favorite character is David Jones, the whole series, and then Jack Spara. My favorite part is when he summons the Kraken. Let no joyful voice be heard. Let no man look to the sky with hope. And let this day be marked by those whom we Ready to wake the Kraken! Sunglasses! These are Mickey Mouse sunglasses from Pop Culture. They're $20 plus postage fees. And my buddy, my buddy Nathan Lawson, he actually got these from me. Yes, sir, he got them for me. Ha ha! So you can blame Nathan Lawson. That's Nathan Lawson for all the ha 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 that I do on, I think, 30 Facebook page group. He should go back to my Hunchback collection. I have quite a few of these. I think I have like six loose now. At least four. Got one just right below me. 
But he's missing his little cape. Oh, I do have it with the other one. You know what? I think that's it for now. I'll see you all real soon, sooner or later. And Shane might actually do some fun stuff with, like, live video streams sooner or later. Who knows? Ha ha ha! See you all real soon, eh? Made you look.